Welcome to the new series which I am starting on you question and I answer. The first question which I am going to take up is the question which is quite oftenly asked question. Do I need to learn Python or R to get into business analysis? Now this question is asked so many times that I decided to take this up first. Now this answer to this question depends on first understanding the flavors of business analysis which is often advertised by the companies. Now all these job descriptions are going to be different but the role and the designation names are often business analyst and that they these job names or job titles don't change. Now that confuses a lot of people especially people who are new to business analysis and they're trying to learn the skills which are needed to become a business analyst. So what are these flavors? So before I answer this question, let me give you a very quick overview of the typical flavors of business analysts or types of business analysts which I have often encountered. So let's start with two typical software project business analysts. One is a functional business analyst and other one is a technical business analyst. So technical business analyst is a more recent addition to the types of business analysts and often enough to confuse even more. So let's start with the project or the functional business analyst. It is somebody who is involved in the stakeholder engagement and capturing requirements and translating those requirements into systems requirements so that the team can develop. it. So typical skill sets for these business analysts are related to handling people, giving presentations, writing documents, and analysis and modeling of requirements. Now, if you talk about the technical BA, you add a few technical skills to the functional BA and that should be qualifying as a technical BA. For example, you understand about the APIs, you understand, you know how to write SQL statements and so on. But typically, these are in the software project development domain. One more variation or other two variations are related to business analysts in the data domain. Here also it will involve maybe developing applications, developing reports, developing machine learning models and so on. But primarily these business analysts work on data. But they are also referred to as business analysts. Now for these people who are working on data but are called business analysts, the skill sets, skill sets have to be related to data and data analysis. So business analysts who are working in, working in data field have to learn Python, R, Power BI, Tableau and so on, including SQL for sure. So one of the varieties of these data analysts will be somebody who will be working on data visualizations or reports. So their specializations will be generating reports which can help a business draw insights from this data and take decisions. So knowledge of data visualization tools like Power BI and Tableau and SQL is, are extremely important. The other type is more on the solving a business problem using data. Now that is where you possibly need to learn machine learn, learning algorithms, statistical analysis, data analysis, basic data analysis skills using standard uh, statistical uh, formulas or learning Python and R which will help in possibly implementing those algorithms or implementing the solution. So this is one variety of business analysts where you need to have skills related to Python and R. So, so far we have discussed four types of business analysts. Functional business analyst, technical business analyst, business analyst reporting, where you need Power BI and Tableau kind of skill sets, including SQL, and the data analyst, also referred to as business analyst. Now, what we do is let's look at some of the job descriptions published on popular job portals. The first one is for the functional business analyst. So if you look at the key points or the expectations or the skill sets, you'll find that 
there is no mention of python and r what is mentioned is highlighted second one is i couldn't find too many about technical business analyst but this is one sample which i could find so i'm showing you that here you can see the specific addition of skill for a technical pa the third one is the business analyst reporting see here the prominently they are asking for tools knowledge which is a data visualization tool fourth one is the business data analyst it should have been called business data analyst but they are still called business analyst some companies of course publish it as data analyst so these are the four in demand business analyst flavors but business analyst can also be employed by consulting companies they are called management consultants but in general they can they are sometimes referred to as business analysts so they work in a more broader and strategic area where they consult a company to solve a business problem which may not be related to it so a software application development business analyst work on projects which are software related but business analysts are not confined to only those projects or only those solutions which are only it specific solution can be it or non it or a combination of it so once you have understood these variations in terms of or the flavors of business analysts you should be very clear in your mind that what are you targeting you cannot have a kind of a policy saying i will spray meaning i will learn everything and then hope that i'll get fixed somewhere in one of the positions that would be very bad strategy focus on one of the areas so good news is that you can move to any of the other positions which i have described in this video so hope this video is going to help you in clarifying whether you need python and r or what skill sets do you need for a typical type of business analyst this is the series where you ask questions and i answer the questions if you have any questions you can type it in the chat window so that i can take it up next thank you so much